Hi Taurus, this is going to be your love reading for March. I just did your angel reading and I'm going to do your sexual energy read after this on my Patreon. So if you like sexual things, join me on your sexual energy read. My beautiful Tauruses. Where? Okay. Cannot find stuff. <coughs> All right, so we are going to do your love reading right now. All right, let's see what cards. Get your cards ready. Okay, we'll clear my energy here. I think, yeah, I think that's all the cards we're going to use. All right, let's start out with some dragon tail rope. We'll do four of these, four from like here and see if we can get a storyline. I always use two different decks because if they're two different tarot decks, because if there's some kind of repeating energy that needs to come out, then me using two different decks lets me know what's important and what needs to be said. Because usually, you know, even though I use two different decks, the energy will repeat itself. So, for example, if I pull an Empress card out of the Dragon Tarot and then I pull the Empress out of the Light Seer's deck, I know that there's an important message that needs to come out with the Empress, right? Okay. Get it? Okay. Because I am an energy reader. That's why I use different decks. Okay. Taurus. What do we got for Taurus? <coughs> Excuse me. I do have a cough, Taurus. As you know, my children were sick. All right. What do we got for Taurus? Taurus. Love. Hmm. Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Interesting. Wow, the star. Who has you hoping and dreaming, Taurus? <laughs> Because somebody does. So this very much feels like someone has caught your interest or someone is interested in you. Now, I don't know if this is you or if this is your person because, you know, both of your energies will feel very much the same. So, you know, I, I don't know whose energy I'm picking up on. But someone, this is an energy of someone being very curious about someone Maybe wanting to get to know someone a little better. There's an energy of like watching and sort of studying, but out of curiosity. But the star came out right next to it. So I feel like there's a lot invested in this person or they have a lot invested in you. There's this energy of hoping for something to happen, not just studying them, but studying them with the intent of finding out information because you're hoping it's going to turn into something more. Does that make sense? <coughs> mm. Excuse me. Yes. See, all of the cards are confirming that. So we have Ace of Pentacles, which is like this energy of a new beginning. Okay. And it came out right next to Seven of Pentacles. So Seven of Pentacles is about sort of laying down roots or, um, you know, sort of planting little seeds of a something as because you're hoping for a certain outcome. So, you know, in, in the Seven of Pentacles, it's it's an energy of like, you know, in the card, it's usually a guy and he's planting seeds. He's like sort of tilling the soil, but he's looking at his plants and he's sort of impatient waiting for like, it's the energy of looking at the plants and going, Oh, when are they going to grow? When are they going to go? When are they going to, when are they going to go? Did I just say go? When are they going to grow? And waiting and waiting like impatiently for something to grow. <laughs> All right. So I don't know what you're waiting on, but you're waiting on something. So this is the first card, which is the Page of Pentacles. Do you see how there's like a dragon and there's a literal student? So it's like studying someone or someone studying you. I don't know. Someone's studying someone. 
they want to get to know them a little better, okay? And then here's the star, which shows me there's a lot of hope. There's a lot of hope that this studying or this watching is going to pay off in the long run with this new beginning. I feel like you have a lot invested in this person or they have a lot invested in you. They want to start a new beginning with you. This Ace of Pentacles shows like this energy of hoping, hoping for something to start, hoping for a future with you, Taurus. And they've laid down these beautiful seeds, you know, however that, however that energy is. Sorry about any background noise. <coughs> Excuse me. We're all sick here. <laughs> we're all crazy here, Taurus. <coughs> Sorry, my children are sick. I'm sick. Okay. So, however that resonates with you. It was just 555 on my camera. <laughs> Sorry, you're really excited. So, however the, that looks for you, laying down seeds, I don't know what that means. It could be, you know, investing in someone, having a conversation with them, getting to know them. I don't know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look different for everyone, Taurus. <coughs> Excuse me. I got to wrap this up. Oof. Okay. Let's do four more cards for our beautiful Tauruses. Um, let's see how what's going to pan out. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, I'm going to do four more of these tarot cards, see if uh, we have any repeating energies. And then we'll do some romance angels, some love oracle, and we're going to call it a love reading for you, my Taurus. <coughs> well, okay. That fan's on too low. All of a sudden, it just got really hot and sweaty. Like a hot, a hot flash. <laughs> Taurus, your energy is steamy. Whew. Four more cards for Taurus, please. I don't know. This deck is all sticky. Ace of Swords. Okay. Three more cards, please. So we have Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Hmm. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Told you. Either you or your person are dreaming of this happy ending. <laughs> this is most likely your energy. I know Tauruses, especially for Tauruses, stability in like your love life and in your in your home life is very important. Like stability to a Taurus is everything. You know, like the whole, <clears throat> whatever, however that is, however, whatever stability means to you. But, you know, for most Tauruses, it's, you know, the whole American dream, the white picket fence, the beautiful wife, the dog, the children. <laughs> and I'm not saying all Tauruses are like that, but I know a Tauruses really crave stability. It's very important for you. Oh my God. Oh, this energy is beautiful. I'm gonna, I can't stop smiling for you. You got the two of cups. It's beautiful. <clears throat> one more card, please. Oh, this one flew out. Seven of cups. Hold on. Okay, there is another card that flew out. I'm going to keep it as a side energy because I don't know how it ties in yet. And I don't know if it does. Last card for Taurus, please. If you want them to know something important, give it to me. Give it to me big. Give it to me hard, spirit. <laughs> oh, my God. Temperance. Wow. Wow. If I just didn't think it could get any better. Oh, my God. Okay, <clears throat> so let's do a little recap. We have Ace of Swords. Now, this energy is a bam. It's like all of a sudden you realize something, Taurus, or your person does, and they go, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> like this, all the signs are leading to this moment or this person or whatever. It's a moment where you get clarity. See, there's enlightenment. There's clarity that the boom, the aha moment, the light bulb goes off and you're like, hmm, I wonder if, right? The bird is, it represents communication, 
be careful also because ace of swords can be like someone who's too in their head too logical look at all these like numbers in the background like it's like overthinking there's like the pi algorithm on here <laughs> like what's it called not algorithm the pi um oh what is it called you know the mathematical pi equation like right here it's like all of this <laughs> sacred geometry and symbols it's like overthinking shit so be careful not to overthink shit taurus because look at this next card comes out ten of pentacles this is the card of the happily hap i can't even talk this is the card of the happily ever after the energy i was just telling you about look the beautiful wife the children the legacy the money i mean look at all those damn kids there's even a goddamn dog in the picture taurus I feel like if you overthink this, then you're going to, you're somehow, it's, you're going to self-sabotage. Look at what came out next. Right next to the two, or the Ten of Pentacles, this is known as the Happily Ever After card. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> it's the Two of Cups. It's the Twin Flame, Soulmate, Perfect Love card. It's two people, hands embraced. Their love creates a rainbow of light. It is beautiful. Two cups overflowing with love. <clears throat> and the, the overflow is not even like, it's not even dripping out. It's just flowing upwards to these people whose hands are clasped together. The two of cups is the, the, card you want to see in a love reading it represents two people who are perfectly suited to each other it is a deep deep soul connection sorry about the background noise that was my little guy <laughs> and this right here 14 this is temperance so this is the energy of balance it's of patience and you know <clears throat> taurus is considered to be a little impatience so spirit is asking you to be a little patient while this energy comes in, don't be too hasty. And <coughs> um, also, this is also the card of balancing your masculine and your feminine. The masculine being the sun, the feminine being the moon. There's those angel wings. If you haven't watched your angel reading, Taurus, you should. Because this, I was just talking about the angel wings. Oh my God. <clears throat> and how you had a past life as an angelic being. And that's why you're going to start seeing the signs of the angels around you. A, you know, like angel wings, feathers, things in the sky that show themselves to you. Oh, you can't make it up. It's beautiful. Anyways. So 14 is about balancing your masculine and feminine energies. And when you do that, when you've achieved that and balance those energies within yourself, that is usually when your twin flame, twin soul, soulmate, whatever you want to call it, your person will come into your reality because you've balanced the divine masculine and the divine feminine inside of you. Does that make sense? Oh, it's beautiful. So this right here is a side energy. This is an energy of options, you know, so I feel like you're in such a beautiful energy, Taurus, that you have so many options. Like there's literally people throwing themselves at your feet. They're just like, oh, Taurus. <laughs> and you're going, but I feel like you already know which cup to choose because there is this one cup right here that is standing out. Look at this. There is that. The other cups, yeah, they're you know, perfectly good cups, but they all look the same except for this cup. That cup's a little bit different, isn't it? That's the cup that's caught your eye, Taurus. And I think you already know what cup you want to choose. There it is. There's your love reading. <laughs> We're going to do some romance angels. <clears throat> love Oracle. And if you feel so guided, please join me for your sexual energy read. And that's going to be only on my Patreon. So you have to be a Patreon supporter in order to access that. But believe me, those of you that know, you know. 
the sexual energy reads are very, very triple. <laughs> Not a little bit. They're a lot. Okay. I use a deck called Twin Flame Filthy Fantasies. And it says filthy. It's hardcore. Hardcore filthy fantasies. <laughs> and it says hardcore for a reason. Um, they are not for the faint at heart. It's, this is downright <laughs> almost pornography. Um, and I'm laughing because it's true. But the deck was made from a beautiful soul called Twin Flames Are Forever. She has a beautiful channel where she channels messages for Twin Flames. So, you know, it was it's all done for, you know, the good of all. Of course, it's, you know, it's for Twin Flames. Twin Flames have hardcore sex too, you know. It's not just about heart space and, and you know, oh, um, I found the other half of my soul. Don't you think if you met the other half of your soul, you would have dirty, raunchy sex with them? Probably. So there you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I apologize for it. Okay. Taurus. Can we get three cards for Taurus? So we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So if you're in a relationship right now, I hate to break it to you. Uh, it's not, that's not where it's at. It says also love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So stop doubting yourself, Taurus. You are fucking beautiful and attractive and sexy and everybody wants you. Everybody wants you. Do -do 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 -do. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can you can just you can kick me out of your house if you want to. Or I can do my little catchphrase and say, Taurus, get the hell out of my house. I'm tired of you already. <laughs> I'm sorry. Last card for Taurus. Ah, oh, see? Okay. Unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So for some of you, if you're in a relationship, you won't be for long. And it's because there's not enough attraction. Maybe you're dating someone and it's not going well. And it's because there's nothing there. There's no soul spark. You have to have a soul spark. You can't just go up for the physical. You can look at someone's physical and be physically attracted to them. But then once you start talking to them and they, if they don't ignite the passion in here, in your soul, it's not going to do it for you. What happens when years down the road, you're married to this person, 30, 40 years down the road in their beauty phase? Then what? What's going to keep you going to? What's what's going to keep that spark for you? I guarantee you it's not going to be that hot body or that pretty face. It's going to be that soul spark. That 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 um intertangling of your souls that match the other half of your soul. I know what I'm talking about. All right, so there's that. And then we have this, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And it came out right next to, you deserve love. You are lovable. So Taurus, what are you doing? Are you doubting your beauty and your charm and your attractiveness? Don't do that. <laughs> Spirit is saying, you are attractive. Love yourself because when you do, it's going to draw the right people right into you. Spirit is so heavy. My camera just went in and out. And you deserve love. Look, that's Artemis. She's trying to shoot her arrow at you, Taurus, and get your attention. <laughs> She's trying to draw back her bow like Cupid and shoot you, but you're not paying attention. Look at this. <laughs> <clears throat> because you're in your own head saying, I'm not good enough, I'm not attractive, I'm not this, I'm not that. And the fuck you aren't, you are. I'm sorry that I have to be harsh with you, but that's how spirit's saying it. So, <laughs> okay, we're moving on from that. All right. <coughs> okay, so we're going to do three of these love oracle cards and then we're going to move on. Because I am getting exhausted from doing all these readings and I still need to do your sexual energy read. So we go we gonna wrap it up, my beautiful Tauruses. What is the last thing you want our Tauruses to know? We're doing the love oracle spirit. What is up for my beautiful earth side Taurus? My rugged bulls. My stubborn bulls change. <coughs> Again. 
the butterfly is heavy for you my Taurus the butterflies showed up in your Akashic reading too the butterflies represent the soul so you are going through some heavy rebirth right now oh I wish that didn't come up for you I don't like that but there it is it's all done okay so we have change there is a heavy transformational period you are going through right now Taurus okay unleash the desires of your soul allow them to guide you this is what came up next it says toxic relationship so for those of you that are in a toxic relationship it's it's ending it's ending right now i hate to break it to you if it's if it's just if it was just about unrequited love i would say okay that's what it is but <clears throat> there is some sort of aspect of obsession and toxic energy and it's not going to last because this is the card that came out next. Divine intervention. Spirit is going to knock that shit right out the goddamn park. There's about to be a huge tower moment. And it's it might feel scary and it might feel shitty and it might feel... It might not feel good. But if this is what needs to happen in order to get you out of this energy, whoosh, it's worth it. Spirit is going to intervene on your behalf because they know full well you are not happy in this energy. Look at this looks like abuse, physical abuse. It could be you for some of you, you could be in a relationship with literally like someone who's physically abusive. Or you could be in a relationship with someone who is a narcissist and they do not treat you well. It is not going to end well. It is going to go out with a big kabang. For some of you, you're probably already out of this relationship. For some of you, there's going to be a tower moment. You will discover something about your person that will force you to face it head on with this, you know, ace of swords energy. And you're going to have to have that talk that says we are not compatible anymore, right? Oof. All right. I might do an extended on this because I sort of want to know now what's going on. Because I do not like this energy for you, my Tauruses. I don't like the that toxic energy that just came up you have another person though lying in wait look there's the two of cups and this energy so don't you give up on love once this is all passes and you're going through your transformation your dark night of the soul be patient with yourself because look these options are going to be coming in and you're going to know which cup is yours and it's going to lead to this. All right. So don't you dare give up, Taurus. Don't you dare. I feel like most of you have already cut this toxic person out of your life, though. Definitely feels like it. <coughs> For some of you that are on a different timeline, you're going to be cutting that person out really soon. Because Spirit's going to open your eyes and you're going to see shit about this person that you thought you knew. And you're going to realize you didn't know him at all. All right, Taurus. If you want to book a reading with me all of my prices are in the description box below all you have to do is click on the little arrow and my description box will pop up i have two different ways you can tip me now um <coughs> i have my chakra bunny tarot paypal and then i also have my cash app so for those of you that do that thank you you're literally my support my bread and butter so i appreciate you for those of you that want to join me on patreon i am going to do your sexual energy read right after this taurus those things are so steamy. Like I just said, they are steamy. So if you want to join me, oof, we'd be having some fun, Taurus. <laughs> I promise you, you will not regret it. Um, and, you know, for those of you that have joined me already on Patreon and support me every month, you guys are fucking amazing. You guys help take care of me. You guys help take care of my babies. You guys give me life, literally. I love you so much. Um, and so thank you for all your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. You can also support me by buying something on my Etsy shop. Right now, my Lemurian love deck that I created, created by moi, and um, graced with the beautiful, beautiful artwork of Kimber Kiss, Cosmic Queen. Her channel is always linked in my description box. It was a beautiful collab. Um, that deck is 
50% off right now, so it went from 60 bucks to 30 because I have a new deck that I want to create and I would like to get this out of my Etsy shop, so it is on sale right now. If you wanna if you wanna catch it, Taurus, now's the time to do it. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? Please check out my son's channel. He works really hard for you guys and he's a great kid. Um, I can't catch it, I love you, Taurus. Mwah. Catch me in your sexual energy read. It's going to get steamy and juicy and wet. Bye, Taurus.